The Microsoft Surface Pro 11 could be the most exciting Surface Pro release in years. It introduces an OLED panel and the new Qualcomm Snapdragon X processors, both first for the tablet line. The Snapdragon X's neural processing unit is expected to enhance AI features in Windows 11, potentially making the Surface Pro 11 even more compelling. However, the Surface Pro 11 isn't the only tablet with advanced AI capabilities. Apple recently unveiled the iPad Pro 2024, the first Apple device equipped with the new M4 processor, featuring an enhanced neural engine. This update adds a new dimension to the Surface Pro versus iPad Pro debate. So, let's compare their key features to see how each might hold an advantage or face a disadvantage in this evolving landscape. Design-wise, the Surface Pro 11 maintains the sleek and lightweight form factor of its predecessors, making it an ideal choice for those who want a portable Windows 11 device without the bulk of a full laptop. If you appreciate the Surface Pro's elegant design, you'll be pleased to know that aspect remains unchanged. However, the Surface Pro 11 does introduce a significant new feature, an OLED display option. The OLED screen offers exceptional contrast and color depth, even in Microsoft's brightly lit briefing rooms. Both the LCD and OLED versions of the Pro 11 support Dolby Vision HDR and 120Hz adaptive refresh rates. Similarly, the iPad Pro 2024 retains the familiar design of its predecessors, featuring a solid aluminum build with a large display and slim profile. However, a closer look reveals that it's an all-new device. The iPad Pro has slimmed down, with the 11 and 13-inch models being thinner and lighter than their previous versions. While the differences in size and weight may seem minor on paper, they significantly enhance the user experience. The new iPad Pro's thinner profile and lighter weight made it much easier for me to hold for extended periods compared to the iPad Pro M2. Nevertheless, both devices are designed to be thin, light, and highly portable, making them convenient to hold and travel with. The base Surface Pro 11 features the same 13-inch LCD display with 120Hz refresh rate as its predecessors, continuing to support Dolby Vision HDR. These touchscreens have consistently been a highlight of the Surface Pro line, but the most exciting aspect of the new 11th gen model is the addition of an OLED upgrade. While the OLED option costs $500 more than the entry-level Surface Pro 11, we think this could be worth the investment. The Surface Pro 11's OLED display was immediately noticeable at the event, with Windows 11's black background exhibiting a depth of darkness that the LCD displays on Surface Laptop 7 units couldn't match. On the other hand, the iPad Pro 2024's new design is sleek, but its OLED display might be its standout feature for many users. The screen is both bright and colorful, with an impressive contrast between dark and light elements, making photos and videos look stunning. The 120Hz refresh rate ensures smooth motion for these beautiful images. The iPad Pro 2024 boasts one of the most impressive OLED displays we've seen on a tablet, if not the best. The Snapdragon X Plus and Elite chips powering the Microsoft Surface Pro 11 are poised to significantly impact the performance landscape of Windows tablets. If Qualcomm's claims about their power and efficiency hold true, the Surface Pro 11 could finally achieve the premium status it has long aspired to. Surface Pro 11 is impressively fast for everyday tasks, explored demos of co-pilot features, and navigated through Windows 11. The experience felt as swift as using a modern MacBook. However, we will need to run comprehensive performance benchmarks to see how it truly compares against its competitors. The 13-inch iPad Pro features the M4 chip with a 10-core CPU a 10-core GPU, and an updated neural engine. It also comes with the Nano Texture Glass option for an improved visual experience. The M4 processor, like the M3, utilizes 3 nanometers technology and introduces hardware-accelerated mesh shading, ray tracing, and dynamic caching, first for the iPad platform. Using the iPad Pro as a laptop, we found it effortlessly handled my usual workflow, which involves multiple open tabs and applications. The iPad Pro maintained its speed even when we added a YouTube video into the mix. It also managed digital comics without any issues. In benchmark tests, the iPad Pro performed exceptionally well. On Geekbench 6, which measures overall CPU performance, the M4, 
Powered iPad Pro nearly doubled the performance of its M2 predecessor. While Resident Evil 4 didn't quite reach 60 frames per second, it ran smoothly enough during gameplay. Both tablets come with keyboard peripherals, essential for those planning to use them as laptop replacements. However, as mentioned in the pricing section, these peripherals are not inexpensive. Microsoft is introducing the new Surface Pro Flex keyboard, a redesigned type cover for the Pro 11. With its built-in battery, you can use the keyboard even when it's detached from the tablet. Microsoft claims the keyboard can last up to 41 hours on a single charge. The Surface Pro Flex keyboard is priced at $349 alone and $449 when bundled with a slim pin. The new Magic Keyboard for the iPad Pro features palm rests and a touchpad with an aluminum finish reminiscent of high-end MacBooks. The larger touchpad and the flatter hinge design further enhance its resemblance to Apple laptops. Despite its robust build, this peripheral is lighter than previous models and does not add much weight to the iPad Pro. The new Magic Keyboard is priced at $349. Additionally, the new Apple Pencil Pro offers several advanced features compared to the basic pencil. It includes a rollable barrel that allows you to intelligently switch pen styles, haptic feedback, and squeeze to control input options. The barrel roll feature is particularly impressive, enabling you to change a line's thickness by twisting the pen. The Apple Pencil Pro costs $129. For those looking for a more affordable option, the $79 Apple Pencil with USB-C is available, although it lacks the advanced features of the Pro version and does not wirelessly charge when magnetically attached to the iPad Pro. That's all for today, and thanks for watching.